Now it's time to introduce you to one of the features of pods that we've seen very briefly, but is going to be particularly useful for doing more advanced types of content on your site and also more advanced types of fields. This feature is called relationships and I'm in the pods admin. I'm editing the pod. I'm editing the books pod that we created at the beginning of this class. And I'm going to go ahead and click on add field. And underneath plain text and plain paragraph text and the WYSIWYG and the date and those other items that we've seen earlier, there's a field called relationship at the bottom. Now, there's a variety of things that we can do here. One fairly simple and fairly useful example that you may use for quite a few different fields is a drop down choice. This is the one that comes by default. Once I chose relationship, it provided a simple custom defined list as the first choice. When it comes to books, one very simple option we could do is allow people to choose between paperback, hardback, and ebook. So when someone comes to add the book to the site, they can choose from those three different options. However, it is possible to do a much more sophisticated relationship as well. I'm going to go ahead and click on add field and choose relationship. And you can choose from a variety of things to link to automatically. You can automatically link to other books, to pages, to other posts, to users on your site. This opens up the rest of your WordPress site to be linked to in this case. So what I'm going to do is take you through the example of the author. So we have two famous authors with books on the site already. What I'm going to do is actually create the ability to link from a book to information about the person that wrote it and vice versa. So we can have an author page and we can have a list of their books that they've written attached to it. So we're going to use the relationship setting, but in order to do that, we're going to walk through another simple example of setting up a pod. So I have my book type down there at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and click on save pod. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set up a pod for authors. So I'm going to go to pods admin, add new, and I'm going to go ahead and click create new, the singular label, author, and the plural label, authors. Next step, and I'm going to go ahead and click add field and add a couple of pieces of information about each author. I'm going to add the ability to have a photo of the author using the file, image, video, field type. And I'll go ahead and click add field. And I'm going to go ahead and add a little bio field as well. Now, this may seem a little redundant. It may be that we could put the bio inside the main body, but it is possible to actually disable the main body if we want to, and this may give us more control over our pod. What we can do is save the pod and under advanced options, if we scroll down, we can uncheck the editor box. Now, that's a little confusingly named because it's the same as um, some of the user roles on the site. But if we uncheck that, that's going to remove the big main normal body that we see. We'll be able to see exactly what that looks like when we go and create an author in a couple of minutes. So I'm going to save the pod and we have the photo, we have the bio. I'm going to go ahead and set up the template. I'm going to go to components, templates, and basically we're walking through another 
another example of creating a pod. Click Add New. Author Template. And on the right hand side, I'm going to select the pod to use as a reference authors. There we go. Title, content, and then the photo and the other information available on the right hand side. Okay, there's the photo. Maybe this time I'll choose the medium size option. Okay, there's the bio and I'll wrap that in a paragraph tag right there. What I need to do is what we did earlier with the books cover image. I need to use just a little bit of HTML in order to get the author photo to show on the site. I'll add IMG SRC and I'll also do the alt tag as well. And that should automatically create it. If I want to do the title as well, that will actually show on the page and so I'll be able to see whether this is working correctly without looking at the source code. So we have the alt tag and we have the title tag for the image as well. And as with the book, I'm going to align this image to the right. Okay, so far so good. Click Publish. And if you remember back, what we need to do is actually tie this author template to the author pod. So I'm going to go to Edit Pods, click Edit next to Authors, and under Frontier Auto Template Options, I can check the box at the top and enter the name of the new template that I've created there. 